Welcome to the Air Gun Show. In this week's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the brilliant shooting opportunities that you could be taking advantage of at this time of year. But before that, we join Rich Saunders as he heads out ratting with the brand new BSA R12 CLX Pro. Now the weather's just started to cool down now, it's sort of early part of, uh, of the autumn and now's a really good time to start planning your rat shooting campaign because the harvest is, is in, the rats are starting to move back into farms now to seek out the shelter of barns and um, I'm down on my uh, chicken farm Now you may have seen a, an episode a few months back where I shot dozens and dozens of rats when the farmer moved one of the chicken sheds the shed's back on site now, so now I'm into more of a maintenance mode, just chipping away, trying to keep on top of the rat population. Now the rats aren't really going to get uh, active for another, another hour or so when it gets dark, so it's a good time to mention the gear. Now the rifle I'm using is the brand new BSA R12 CLX Pro, I've got it in the black pepper laminate stock which I think looks really really good. Now it may look like the BSA R10 TH but it's a completely new, completely new rifle. Um, it's based on the BSA CLX platform so it has a side lever instead of a bolt, there's a brand new regulator in it, it has a mono block construction as well which is much more efficient, fewer leak points, um, there's a new safety catch and then there's, there's a new magazine system as well. Now on top I've got a BSA 3 to 9 by 40 scope and that's held on with sports match mounts and on the back I'm using a PARD NV007 IR unit so that I can shoot in the dark obviously and also hopefully record some shots. Then the only other gear to mention is my thermal spotter and a set of trigger sticks. There's some pallets um, used to make a step to one of the sheds and there's always rats in there. There are quite a bunch in there at one point but they're all running around and I couldn't get a shot off. Uh, and then eventually they settled down and I did manage to. Um, now normally I like to take headshots but that last rat there, his head was just obscured by part of the pallet but I got a really clear angle into its chest and I must have smashed it right in the vital organs because it went straight down. seem to congregate around there as well so I've spotted a few through the thermal so I hopefully get a few more
Well, I managed to miss one there. Um, I thought it was a little bit further away, so I gave it some holdover, but I think it went over the top of him. Um, then I saw another one, there's some pipes here, and um, I could just see his eye in between the pipes. I took the shot, I couldn't hear it hit the pipes, so I thought I'd hit the rat. And then, sure enough, after a few seconds, he flopped out on the ground, dead as a door now. moved around to another spot and beside one of the hen houses and the rats tend to move down the edge of the hen house so with a bit of luck I'll get a few more from here There's, uh, there's lots of rat holes along the side of the shed here and what happens is the rats poke their heads out of the holes to see what's going on and I'm pretty sure I hit both of those rats there and they've fallen back into their holes. I can't see them through the thermal but I'm certain that they're dead. Well that was a good one to end on. Um, I've been around the farm a couple of times now, probably shot I don't know, 12 or 15 rats or so, which is just enough just to sort of keep a lid on the numbers I think. Um, final job of the night is to go and pick them all up. Thanks for watching. Rich Saunders there proving that BSA's new flagship PCP can certainly cut it out in the field. Next up, a few ideas for what you could be getting up to with your air rifle at this time of year. Late summer going into early autumn can be a real bumper time for air gun shooting. So I thought I'd do another roundup of shooting opportunities that you could be taking advantage of at this time of year. Now, the first one has to be around harvesting and new seed drills, which can attract loads of pigeons and corvids. Now, if you make sure that your shooting conforms with the requirements of the relevant general license, you can have some great action by setting up a hide and decoys in the right place.
Next up has to be rabbits. Most of this year's young will now be grown on and perfect for the pot. Now whether you're out stalking or using ambush tactics, the last couple of hours of daylight are usually the prime time to be out as rabbits venture out to feed, especially if there's been a drop of rain to soften the grass. Air gun shooters do a terrific job by helping to keep destructive grey squirrels in check. Now, feeding stations are usually my number one approach for this task, but it can be that they lose their appeal at this time of year because there's just so much natural food about. Now, that doesn't mean that you need to stop. All you've got to do is target the squirrels around those natural food sources and oak trees, Beeches and sweet chestnuts are some of the most productive ones to target them around. The evenings are finally starting to draw in and for many of us that means getting our after dark ratting back into full swing. Now more and more rodents will be moving onto the farmyards as the crops come in and the weather gets tougher. So now really is the time to start cracking down on them. And now that it's getting dark earlier, don't neglect night sessions for rabbits. They can become very nocturnal in their habits as the nights get longer. So it's always worth heading out for a look after dark if they suddenly start to seem a bit less abundant during daylight hours. So that's just a few suggestions of how you may be able to make the most of your field time during this potentially very productive time of year. Now the most important thing is just to be out there. So get out there and enjoy this beautiful season. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for in this week's episode, but as ever, we'll be back again in a fortnight. And in the meantime, you can keep up with me on Instagram at Matt Manning Outdoors. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you aren't already a member of the BASC, it's time you joined the organisation that works to promote and protect your sport. Don't miss the award-winning Air Gun Shooter magazine. It's packed with hunting features, reviews, tactics and insight to help you become an even more successful shooter. Get your copy today in shops or online.